Hey guys, welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's short video we're going to talk about how to rig a jig in plastic. This is kind of a question that I get fairly often so I just wanted to shoot a quick video on how to rig a jig in plastic and the first thing to know is properly rigging a jig in plastic it's not all that important you just want to make sure that your bait is presented naturally pretty much any way you uh, you know you don't need to be exact to get to rig these and get them to work properly but we're going to kind of look at how I rig a jig in a plastic so if you want to rig these you know quote unquote right there's a few things that you want to keep in mind and one is when, when you put the hook into the plastic you want to make sure you're getting as close to center as possible that's just going to help this bait be presented uh, the most natural the other thing you want to look at is you can see on pretty much all plastics there's a seam that goes right through the back of the plastic and that is where you want the the barb of your hook to come out so where the way I'm gonna hook this is I'm gonna put the hook right through the middle of the plastic I'm gonna thread it down and I want that hook to pop out is right in the center of that seam there's a seam where the plastic kind of comes together it forms a rib and that's where you want that hook to pop out then I'm gonna slide this I've got a bait uh, collar right there on the back I'm just gonna slide this nice and snug and then I'm gonna give it a little tug on the back just make sure it's right on there nice and that's how you're gonna rig this thing now when you're rigging a twister tail style bait it's good that when you when you rig it you have the the twister tail pointing down and the reason for that is sometimes when the tail is spinning around you can get it caught on your hook and it'll foul hook sometimes so you want the hook up and the tail down to prevent those uh, those hookups so the you know just with the other plastics here we've got a Bar Bobby Garland slab slayer you can see there is that rib right in the back that's where you're gonna make your tail pop out hook it right down pop it out the back and there you go now you have that thing properly rigged as well right through the back there now one thing another thing you know if you're if you're rigging a, a swim bait like this this is a Cabela's um, crappie minnow here this does you, this does not have a clear rib in the back most lures do like I say not all of them on this I would just make sure I get that bait right in the center slide it all the way down that shank pop it through and then get it snug just like that so that's how I you know I rig a plastic like I say you don't need to be too picky you, the most important thing is you just want that bait presented naturally so I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next video.